go. Praise the Lord, my Pentecostal saints. I've got my tambourine and I'm ready for worship. See how it's worn right here along the edges? That's how you know my praise is real, okay? Somebody come to your church with a tambourine that doesn't have a worn spot? It's just for decoration, my friend. Just for decoration. See that busted up wood? See these symbols missing? This is how you know that I've come to praise and worship them. The tambourine is a controversial object in the church, though, because so many people, you're working outside of their gift. They're trying to play the tambourine, but ain't got no rhythm. So you got to be able to shake the tambourine, uh-huh. Then you got to be able to the tambourine, right? Yeah, just like being in a marching band. You got to be able to put your time in. throw off the drummer and stuff, getting it all wrong. Some people shaking at the wrong time. Church trying to sing. Let the church sing, yeah. Like this. No, no, you don't hit the bass when the church say yes. You just give them a little, yeah. That's how you gotta do, you know. Everybody don't have a tambourine anointing. Everybody doesn't have a tambourine ministry. The tambourine, though, is a hard thing to get out of praiser's hand when they get into a dance, you know. They start out like this. They went to tambourine and see somebody in the, that's not in the spirit, they're going to miss that. They're going to miss that. Then you got an injury and oh. somebody wounded in the house of God. So what I'm telling you is this. If you got a tambourine ministry, you work that tambourine ministry. And if you're not, honey, stay in your gift. Stay in your gift and leave the tambourine playing to the rest of us, okay? We don't want nobody hurting the house of God. Love and laughter, my friends. Liz Jones. <laughs>